Hello, hello everyone. Happy October. It is Nancy Thompson with Create with Nancy. So I know I'm running a few minutes late, or quite a few minutes late, um, but I will tell you about that in just a moment. So if you are hopping on, um, there we go. Okay, Facebook says I'm live now. So welcome, welcome. So if you're here joining in, please leave, leave me a comment to let me know that you're here. Um, I know I was late. Um, yeah, um, it's just one of those days, right? Hi, Sherry. Hi, Shirley. Welcome, welcome. Yes, the reason I'm late is because Cooper's at the vets today and the vet called just before I wanted to go live. So that put me behind. So anyway, so I wanted to hear how he was doing. He had some minor surgery today. So, um, yeah, so, um, so anyway, so he's doing well and I'm sure he's anxious to come home. As we all know, nobody likes to be at the doctor's office. Um, and he is one to never want to be there. So anyways, so hi Jane and Kathy. Welcome. Welcome. Um, so let's get started. Are you ready for some cute Halloween projects? Um, it's October. It's time to start thinking of Halloween. Um, and you simply just need this cute Halloween, let me get it in the right spot, designer paper. That's all you need, okay, is some cute Halloween designer paper. Everything else you can fussy cut. You don't really need this stamp set. I'm sure you have have other stamp sets and uh, and everything. So, okay, so welcome everybody. Um, uh, good, I'm glad you can catch a little bit. I can't see or hear anything. That is so weird. Um, hopefully everybody else can. Um, let me know if you can't. Um, you should be able to see everything, I hope. Um, uh, it could just be your connection, Megan. So, um, yes, Cooper's doing fine and um, he will will be glad to be home. So, he's going to have a few days of rest and, relaxa rest and relaxation coming up. So, um, hi Taylor, welcome. So, um, Megan says she's having trouble, but um, okay, you're good now. It must have just been your connection. All right, so let's get started for some Halloween cuteness. So as I said before, this is our um, this is in our mini catalog. It's our cute Halloween designer paper, and it comes in six by six, and there's eight designs, so you get um, six of each of the eight. So a little bit more, which I kind of like, because um, then it goes a lot farther and everything. So. Um, so there's the designer paper and kind of what started me off was wanting to use this bundle, but I knew the bundle or yeah, the bundle is not available. So, um, I wanted to create some projects that you could use with just the paper and not worry, but this actually is not coming in. I'm not sure. I can't remember what the dates are. There's so many things where the dates are, um, a little bit off. Uh, you know, to keep track of what is out of stock and what's not. But maybe it's coming up soon um, or just before Halloween. But anyways, it's still a fabulous set. If you love Halloween, the punch coordinates with the stamp set. So it's really cool. But you can work with just the paper by itself. So um, I've used the Banner Year uh, stamp set previously. So this might be a good alternative um, for you to use with the designer paper. Because look at these fabulous designs. We've got like um, this black with all these different boo words on it. Okay. And of course we've got this fun uh, ghost paper as well. Um, these are little tiny like haunted houses here. And on the back are tiny little ghost and bats on that designer paper. So let's see, there's two. Here we've got the cats that do punch out with it. But these are so easy to fussy cut, okay, as well. And then we have like a black stripe. So this is a good um, overall pattern. So welcome if you're just joining in. I'm glad you're here today. And then um, here we have um, 
just kind of like a fun design and I think I'm gonna try to use this pattern for an everyday um, uh, pattern of paper so yeah, I'm sitting and cutting the that DSP right now oh great Angela she is working on Angela loves to create um, all kinds of treats for her um, for um, her 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 child's um, school so she always is um, doing all kinds of fun stuff for the staff and the kids at school so here we've got um, kind of like a um, haunted uh, Halloween candy mix okay and then we've got some skulls and tombstones here and then this is like a nice soft um, subtle grayish so this is a great overall pattern as well and I love this one I think this is a great universal pattern it's kind of like a pinstripe okay um just nice bright colors it's great for birthday it doesn't scream total halloween um you know i don't know what this is the only thing i can think of is maybe bat scratch marks what do you guys think this pattern is here um spooky looking <laughs> that's good um and then i love this pattern with the pinks and the um the bats here hanging upside down as well um, and what's on the back of this? Just a total black um, designer paper. It looks a little um, rustic here. Okay, so those are your designs in this paper. So um, so that's kind of was my starting point, was just to kind of work with the paper. And then I pulled in this Banner Gear stamp set um, because it's got a lot of great greetings. We've got Happy Haunting, um, Happy Fall, you all, Boo. A treat so sweet that works great for Halloween and of course we've got you know Christmas and fall and um, more Christmas Thanksgiving um, Valentine's days in here and then there are some really neat images that you could use on a tag or whatever um, so that's good okay Taylor says she needs to get her hands on this DSP yes you do okay um, so the other thing I paired with this was the picture this uh, die set okay it has two dies it's got um, this rectangular pop-out thing and and then a circle one that kind of creates like a shadow box okay so um, this is what I simply started with and you're gonna see more of this on my blog okay because I've almost done writing my blog post so you probably hopefully I'll get it done um, and it will be posted tomorrow. So if you haven't subscribed to my blog, let me think here. Do I have that up here? Um, uh, maybe I do or maybe I don't. Um, just go to createwithnancy.com, okay, and subscribe to my blog. And you can see a post with this with some measurements on what I used, okay? All right, so it creates, um, so I already run this through the die cut machine and then you get these labels. So this is like three card, four cards in one, okay? So um, so I'm saving this, this is a bonus. Um, I'm using this for a bonus project um, for um, my newsletter subscribers. So if you've got my newsletter, um, I think it was yesterday's post, I said, talked about, it was included in the, the newsletter with um, the clearance rack update okay so um, but if you go and subscribe I will send you this um, as well this bonus project okay so really cute idea using that so I've got these three labels left okay to utilize so we're gonna create a card and and two um, well, we're going to create a card and I'm going to create um, also a little treat box and then show you another treat box idea. Okay, so um, let's see here. I am just going to refresh my screen here. Okay, so let's start with this cute little card here. Okay, so we have, so see how simple this card looks right here. And then I have finished off the inside with some funness. Okay. So, um, so I've already, so I use this gray pinstripe background, okay, designer paper, and I've already matted onto some basic black uh, cardstock, and I've tied my ribbon. I wanted a nice pretty bow, because you know how it is when you're tying stuff that it never comes out right, okay? 
So we are going to then take our card base and we're going to add dimensionals to this because I, I like, I don't know, there's just something about this matte layer, um, raising it up with some dimensionals. So um, it just adds more more dimension, okay, and texture and, and everything to your cards. So um, I hope everybody's having a great day and thank you for joining in. Um, so we're, we're going to mount this onto some Highland Heather cardstock. Okay. And we are going to stamp on this. So we're going to do a little bit of stamping. So I've taken this a treat so sweet out of that banner year stamp set. Okay. And I'm going to just stamp this in my corner there. Okay. That's how simple that is. And... Yeah, what do I want to do? You know what? That's not the one I want to do. I want to use this label. And I need another block here. So let's, um, I really wanted that and the word boo. So we're going to add boo to this, okay? Instead, good thing I looked at my uh, sample here. Um, okay, so... Let's back up the train here. So we're going to add the word boo. And on my sample, I actually stamped this after I had my um, label on. So let's, um, let's do it correct. Okay, we got boo now. There we go. Now we can simply... So I just um, spent a little bit of time just doing some fussy cutting. And some of it I did punch out with my punch. Um out of it but there's still a lot to fussy cut like the skulls you have to fussy cut um there are you know and the pumpkins you can use your punch but there's a lot of skulls and there's quite, still quite a few ghosts you need to fussy cut so uh yes angela you need to put this is a great set this banner year so don't be afraid to kind of look at what you have in your um in your um stamping library okay and go through and revisit that um personally i only keep what's current but um on my shelves but i do still have a stash that i do once in a while go back and revisit so um i like these side ones sometimes when you just um these are like perfect for this width of a uh, label so, but let's add a few in here though, okay? So we're gonna add our label and then we'll simply start embellishing um, with our die cuts. Um, so doing fussy cutting is great, like, I don't know, when you're just watching your child at a practice or you're sitting in front of the TV at night, um, you know, just kind of hanging out with the kids and, and your husband or whatever. Um, so it's just a great way to um, to accomplish something and um, get done. So my suggestion is just go and cut out a whole bunch of different images and then um, just get a feel as to, I think I'm going to just copy my design that I've got just get a feel as to where you want to place them before you start adhering, okay? Because some of them, you know, you just might get a little too much going on. Um, and you know what, I'm just wondering, I think I'm gonna do that and then put this kind of, I don't know. Maybe I will go back up there. Um, yeah, we'll go back up there. Okay, I think those are good. So let's um, let me grab some adhesive here, and I'm gonna start with the obvious. Okay, so um, because only part of his tail was on there, I'm gonna add a dimensional to the other part of this ghost. Okay, because we don't want him flopping around too much. Okay. And let's see, I'm going to add this little trick or treat pumpkin here, right there. And then um, 
let's add this tombstone okay in on here and we'll grab our stuckle and I don't know I guess he's a parrot um, is what he is so because the parrot's going to hang off and part of the skull here is going to hang off we're going to just add a couple dimensionals there all right and then um let's see i'm with you on fussy cotton <laughs> hey jeanette welcome she's my my um my cruising cousin here so welcome okay so we've got that um and i've already um don't be afraid to let me show you this stamp so here's the happy haunting stamp okay and i forget to do this a lot of the time stamp it on a piece of scrap and then cut it out so you've got two different pieces you know what these dimensional sheets are great for too um if you don't have a silicone mat this works really great oh sherry you thought it was a mohawk i think it's a parrot i'm gonna show you that that is so funny so there it is. So what do you guys think? I think he's like a parrot, right? Or some type of bird is what he is. Um, so use this because your dimensional sheet will kind of resist your adhesive if you go off and then you're not getting it all over your placemat as well. So let's just add these kind of whimsical, okay? And then we've got our card front done, all right? so. For the inside, we are simply going to, did I do anything on that? Um, I didn't. Um, let's see, what are we gonna do? We're gonna take this um, uh, uh, skulls and ghosts and there's pumpkins and bats. It's that grayish type um, image. Um, so I'm gonna pair it with some basic gray here. Okay, just a Thin little border just uh, remember I did this last week we um, layered up some dimension with this um, does make your car your card a little bit um, bigger okay um, so but I do like the look of the designer paper inside and then I cut um, a rectangle a stitched rectangle see the stitching around it and it will give you even more dimension, okay? So I'm gonna keep it flat, and then we will just center this on the inside. But that's enough room to write, you know, um, whatever you would like. I'm trying to think, is there anything I would write on the inside in there? Um, I mean, I don't know. We've already got, I, there might be other Halloween um, sayings. I'll have to check my um, other stamp sets, but let's finish it off with a little bit of bling. So I'm pulling in our cute stars adhesive back sequence. Okay. And let's, um, so there's like a black, they're kind of like iridescent to them. You know, um, they have like an iridescent look to them. Can you see that a little bit, especially on the blue, the bluish and the the yellowish and then of course we've got the black so I am going to just um, you just have to make sure you get that glue dot when you pick these up okay that's my only hint here and just do a variety of colors and because they are little all right so there is our card and I paired it with that um, basic gray look um, designer paper. So we've got a card. See how quick it is? Just using your designer paper to embellish. I don't get a lot of trick-or-treaters <laughs> either. We get none anymore. There's no kids on our streets. So, hey, Wendy, thanks for joining. It's good to see you here. All right, so we've got that done. So let me go on to project number two, these acetate boxes. Who has these and knows that they're in our catalog? Um, you can find them on in our annual catalog, our 20, 
2021 to 2022 annual catalog. You can find them on page 137, and this is the one I'm going to use right here. It's a 3 and 1 8 by 3 and 1 8 acetate card box, okay? And you get 10 of them in a package. But look at that. I added green shred because I don't have any Halloween candy in this house. But you could easily, these would fit Ghirardelli's. You could do a package like the mini, like a package of M&M's. You could do wrapped up um, Hershey Nuggets. I'm sure you could go like two, three, at least six in here. Okay, so these are just cute and so simple to embellish this with a simple belly band and some embellishments, okay? So let me show you how quick this is, okay? So I've got two pieces of one and a half inch designer paper and I am going to, this is, if we had 12 by 12, it would be easier, but because we don't, because it's not, um, we're simply going to um, create our own little um, seam here, okay? So it's up to you where you kind of put this. So I've got my top opening up here, okay? So um, I'm going to just start with that in the back, okay? That seam in the back um, in my openings here. So they don't even really have to um, take this off if you don't want to, but I like to just at least try to get it straight and then I just start to finger press it around, okay? And, um, and we're gonna trim it a little bit. I probably could have figured out exactly how much we needed, but I don't know. All right, so I, I like how that comes over there. So um, I am going to just, so really, I'm not gonna cut off that much. Um, I'm gonna cut it off so I can hide this where our label is, okay? So let's add, so you always wonder how to add some adhesive. Let's pull this back in. <laughs> We're using our, adhes our adhesive sheet here, so I don't get any um, excess anywhere. So I'm gonna put adhesive there on that end, and then I'm gonna put adhesive on this end, okay? So that way I'm sure that both ends are gonna get stuck down, okay? All right, buy candy, but that's no fun, Kathy, is to buy any candy that you do. Buy candy that I like and can enjoy. Okay, yeah, you can do it, but I'm trying not to eat it. So um, anyways, okay. So let's, where are we at? Um, so we're going to, whoops, that had the, nope, that does have the adhesive on it. Okay, so then we just then simply line it up and secure it down. Just try to make sure your, your lines are flush, okay? And you should wanna still be able to slide it on and off if you want. Sometimes you might wanna go the other way. They're both the same equal distance, so you could if you wanna make sure nothing pops out. That would be fine too. It's kinda of totally up to you. All right, so let's, we've already stamped our little greeting here. So I'm gonna first add some dimensionals to this. And you could think, just think, you know, it could be Thanksgiving maybe, because these are also food safe. Our acetate boxes are clean, but I don't know. I always like adding prepackaged stuff nowadays, right? Instead of handling stuff, you could put some fudge in there. You could maybe Thanksgiving, that would be great for Christmas, right? Um, you could um, add like for Thanksgiving, decorate it with some leaves and maybe do that Thanksgiving um, uh, mix, you know, what is it? Um, I think there's a name for it, isn't there? Um, like, a, like a Thanksgiving um, blessing, that's what it is. The Thanksgiving blessing mix. Okay, so I am going to kind of put it down part way, okay? Um, because I wanted to make sure this de designer paper was showcased a little bit because it's just so pretty, I think, okay? Um, let's see. So let's, um, oh, he might look good doing that, right? I don't know. Let me see if I can get another little one here because um, I like 
I like how that one is kind of peeking out more. Um, maybe I don't have another one cut. Um, okay, I think this is the one it's going to be. Yeah, okay, he's going to go like that. All right, so he's going to go flat on my box. So let's um, pull in my thing here. Let's add some adhesive. Okay, I kind of want. I want my star to go okay so we've got him so let's take a pumpkin and we'll dimensionalize these guys okay because they're kind of like the star of the show here all right so let's see I think that looks good and then let's grab in a funny looking skull they all have you see all the different faces on these skulls um, there's some different ones. I think I need to cut more. Um, there's, there's a few different ones. All right, so let's add that one there and this one, okay? All right. I'm not sure if the weather today, it's still kind of like a dreary type day out, but at least it's not raining. Um, Okay, so let's pull in, um, well, you know what I forgot on this other card? That's right. I want these, these cute little bats are adorable, I think. And I'm going to stick one on my card back here. I missed him. It's kind of a dull space there. Empty space. Okay, so let's go with the black stars, I think. And I want a big star right there so it looks like abracadabra, right? How's that? That cute little star right there. And we will add a couple of these smaller ones off here where they can be seen. Okay, I know I dropped one somewhere. So... Oh, there it goes. Fell back on to the acetate. Um, I think we'll go right there. Okay, isn't that just a little house stuck to it? Simple, simple, right? Totally easy. Okay, there's the finished project. And just imagine that just filled up with some time of goodies. You could put um, also three by three love notes. You know, we have the three by three. Um, envelopes in you could cut some cardstock as well three by three three by six and fold it in half and create some cute little cards as a gift so all kinds of ideas okay so finally I'm just going to showcase to you um, because I've shown you how to make these boxes before um, last year so on my blog I'll link to um, a link to a previous blog post on how you put these boxes together. It's just a simple box using two pieces of designer paper. Isn't that just adorable? Just adding some of these die cut, these fussy cut images um, out of that paper. So you could, if you wanted to put handles in it, but I don't know, I, I don't know. I just, uh, I like the ribbon down here, but I didn't know if I wanted more ribbon up there. But I'm just thinking, you're gonna have it full of candy, a bag of candy or whatever. So you like my earrings? Yes. <laughs> um, thank you, Gail. Okay, everybody. So what do I wanna remind you? Um, I had a couple reminders and I gotta think here what they are. So make sure you um, are a subscriber to my newsletter, okay? And, um, and remember that the clearance rack was updated today. So there are still some great um, things on there. Um, and if you go to my website, uh, createwithnancy.com, you can easily hit the shop now button and it will take you to my online store where you can add um, any of the clearance rack items or any of these projects you've seen here, items using that we that I shared with you today. So, and I'm glad you loved everything. So I hope it inspires you to get out there and share some creativity by making some of these 
um, these cute little um, boxes or an awesome little card that you can give to somebody this Halloween. Okay, everybody, have an awesome day and come back next week for another Facebook Live. Bye-bye.